Good evening. Good evening, mister. How are you? I'm fine. Good. I was, I was, I was thinking, when is that end of this course? Okay, uh, I have some information uh, related to that question. Uh, we were supposed to finish uh, next Thursday, but on Thursday, I have a Christmas event. So we have to move Thursday's class for tomorrow. Now, okay. I, I understand that, you know, sometimes you guys already have plans for Fridays, but it's going to be the last Friday uh, that we have classes in this uh, 2020. So I will give you all the information when everybody arrives. All right, thank you. Yes. So, so but that means that we're going to finish classes on Wednesday, last Wednesday, uh, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, 16th. that is correct. Okay. The 16th, exactly, okay. exactly. So uh, okay. that's the story, so. And we're going to start again? Uh, early January. Early January. Yep. So we yeah, will but... um, we will rest uh, approximately a little bit more than two weeks, I think. Yeah, maybe three. three yeah, maybe three, three weeks. Like, like three weeks, like three or four weeks. Yep. Yep. So. Yeah, because if we're we were three weeks, if we're three weeks, we we will we will start on on six. Right, about that. And remember, how do you say reponer in English? Re repose? No. No. What do the ladies use every day in the mornings on their faces? Make, make, uh, make makeup. Makeup. Yeah. Makeup. Exactly. So remember that classes were suspended for several months. Um, what do you call it? Uh, because of the pandemic. So now uh, it's time to uh, make up. I mean, like, because Christmas vacation is is there, you know. So yeah. but we have to make up for, for the time that we lost. Okay. So welcome back, everybody. What's today's date? Thursday. December yes. 10th, 2020. Exactly. Thursday, December 10th, 2020. That is correct. Do you guys remember the topics that we covered um, yesterday? Do you? Which topics did we talk about? We talk about our the first 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 time that things were done in most of our lives. Good, very good. We were talking about our first time that you had a card, that you earned money, that you had a job. So we were going back in time to analyze those uh, particular memories. Yeah. So when you when you answer that question, what was the first time that you had a car, the first time you got a job? You know, you have to use the simple past tense. You have to use uh, uh, past continuous, uh, different things. So everything is related with past, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Any questions or comments? Mm, from yesterday, I don't have, but I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any Anybody has any questions or comments before we start? No, teacher. No? Okay. So let's start our first activity with a vocabulary um, section. Let me see this here. Share. Uh -huh. Where? I think this is the one. Mm -hmm. 
do you guys have a good sleep? Do you guys sleep well usually? Um, no. In my case, lately I haven't been able to sleep very well. <laughs> okay. Maybe because of the stress. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so sometimes, you know, like, uh, like like in my case, you know, when I finish the class with you, this is go to bed because you before I teach him and uh, I go to bed like 20, 25 minutes later, I'm gone. I'm, I'm here until the next day. <laughs> but there is like once a month that I suffer insomnia. I don't know why. And uh, but it's kind of difficult to uh, for me to go to sleep easily. Okay. So let me send you this vocabulary or you wanna take a screenshot, go ahead and do it. This is vocabulary related with uh, sleep. Be fast asleep, be sound asleep, be wide awake, drift off, uh, feel drowsy, have a sleepless night, not off, sleep like a dog and take a power nap and toss and turn. So I will assign you to work in pairs so you guys can discuss um, this vocabulary. Okay, what we have to do because yeah, let's see. see with these words that he said he sent us. You like... have to discuss the meaning. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Yep. Be fast, be fast asleep. Maybe. Often I have insomnia. So okay. Hard to sleep. <laughs> For me, it's, it's, it's difficult to to be fast asleep too. But it's for some days. I think when I am stressful, for me, it's difficult. But the other days, no. Um, um, you... We sleep like a log, it says. That means that um, you, once you go to sleep, you don't get up or anything, right? Okay. Um, you have, a, uh, you go to sleep I and... I... And you didn't hear. And then you wake up like seven, you drift off. And you wake up late. Like quedarse, quedarse dormido. <laughs> okay, uh, drift off. Um, let's say you arrive to your house at 9 p.m. You're very mm -hmm. tired, very exhausted, and you're watching television. You're so mm -hmm. tired that while you're watching television, you drift off. 
It's like be fat asleep, be be fast asleep. Uh maybe, yeah. You oh, you can okay. say that. Now, if you want to say me quedé dormido, and that's the reason why I was late, you mm -hmm. say oversleep. Oversleep, okay. Yeah. So they said, uh, Francisco, why are you late? Oh, I'm sorry, but I overslept. I yeah. overslept. You use it in the past form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. What about you? Hello, people. Hello, Hello teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm How was your... Late. That's all right. Better late than never. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you see the image that I sent to the WhatsApp chat? WhatsApp chat. Okay. So nah. you guys are, are discussing that vocabulary. All the vocabulary is related with uh, sleep. Got it? Be fast asleep, be sound asleep, mm -hmm. be wide, wide awake, drift off, feel drowsy. What? Drowsy. 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 Oh, drowsy. Yes. Sorry. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning What's of that drowsy? one? Drowsy, uh, let's say you get to your house about 8 p.m., 9 p.m., anytime. Uh -huh. But you're very tired. You're so tired. That when you're watching television, um, you say feel drowsy or drift off. Which one? Drowsy. Oh, drowsy, drowsy. Like you feel tired. You want to sleep. Mm, okay. uh, and, and that is the warning that some medicine has. It says this medicine may feel the person taking it to feel uh, drowsy. Drowsy. Not, not completely awake. Okay. Mm, okay. Yep. Kind of asleep. Kind of, yes. Uh, drift okay. off? I, I don't know. Who. But, uh, Janine, remember? Drift no, off. I don't remember. Drift off. Drift yes, teacher. Off. So that you, uh, let's say you, you arrive to your house and you're very tired. So you go to the sofa, you start watching television, and you're so tired that you drift off. You fall asleep. Yeah. Uh, Gradually, okay. you, you fall asleep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then they were... They were asking me about um, feel drowsy. I'm telling them feel drowsy is like mareado. You, you... Right, right. Yeah, not completely awake. Uh, uh, not, not, not completely not completely conscious about where you are, we can say. Oh. Mareado. Uh -huh. Mareado. He went in the middle of, for, for example, the afternoon. Yeah, nap, yeah. Yeah. Power nap and then you get up with more yeah. energy. I don't know. Yeah. What should the Those other one? In turn. Those in turn. I have no idea. Those in turn. Turn, maybe it doesn't turn the opposite of all of all, of all the before that that don't sleep. Which one are you talking about? Lost and turned. Toss and turned. For example, I can say, uh, you know what? I have such a big problem in my house that uh, lately I've been tossing and turning every mm -hmm. night. Yeah. So is the is the is the opposite of the other one like is it like a low no off uh mm -hmm. is 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 the opposite that that you can sleep yeah dar vueltas yeah uh, okay yeah toss and turn literally it's like a yeah tirar y, y, y girar para yeah. it mean yeah. dar vueltas dar vueltas right so okay. let's say you have a big problem in your head and uh 
that particular problem doesn't let you get any sleep, so you toss it and turn it all night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was like me two nights ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you slept well last night. A little bit better, but I, I have really problems with the sleep. Okay, good. I, I can't sleep early, and I don't fall asleep. Like, I don't sleep like a lot, I can't. Uh-huh. Okay, so how many hours do you usually sleep? Uh, five. Five, yeah, that's not mm. much. No, no. it's least, it's, it's a few. Yeah. You know, but doctors, you know, doctors say, look, I mean, uh, you sh everybody should be getting eight hours of sleep, but if you get four hours without any interruption, you know, that's four hours is enough for the body to recover. But then soon, later you will feel tired so five is, is 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 not enough but it's it's something you know mm. some people literally uh, they don't get any sleep you know they might fall asleep three three thirty in the morning and they have to be awake at 5 a.m so it's kind of bad yeah. yeah when that happens oh the next day is awful you feel exactly. tired you feel angry oh yep Yep. And you know, how you sleep determines how you feel the following day. Yeah, you know? that's true. So if you sleep like a baby, you wake up in a good mood and you're very energetic and everything. So, uh, uh, but if, you, if the opposite happens, you just can't, you can't get any sleep. Yeah, even the coffee helps. Yep, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Wow. I can have some little memories about that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember everything. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Really? No, no, I just, I just can't remember just a few things about okay. that event. Mm -hmm. What about the second term? I think that is the same that the first one. Be sound asleep? Yeah, be sound asleep. It's when you are deeply, right? Yep. Deeply sleep. Deeply yeah. sleep. Okay. Yeah. Deeply sleep. Okay. Okay. And the fast is when you go to sleep uh, really fast. When you maybe you disc. I because I feel really tired and it's yeah. quite opposite. It's the worst night for me. Yeah, dependent of the problem that you have. <laughs> oh, yeah. But that's life. Noe, are you there? Yes, hello. You're pretty quiet you? tonight. <laughs> I'm fine. Yes, I, well, I was in, in uh, like a, a listener. <laughs> and what about you asleep? Well, well, I think uh, uh, I slept very well uh, last night because the weather was uh, very cold. Yeah, um, that's true. So it's so nice to to sleep uh, to sleep uh, well under under a, a white blanket. <laughs> <laughs> So the problem is uh, the time to to wake up and stand up <laughs> and take a take a take a shower, shower <laughs> take a bath. Yes, the 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 temperature uh, here in the morning was on fifteen degrees. I was fresh. Really? Yes, very cold. I feel the uh, I feel the 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 cold, and I check the 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 in my phone to see the the temperature because it was uh, very cold. You live in Antigua, huh? Yes, yes, I live in. Yeah, Antigua is it's usually fresh. They got they have some nice weather. Yes, yes, even in summer. The but what time the, do you wake up? 
at um, 15 minutes to 6. Okay. Yeah, it was early. Yeah, yeah it, was it was early. early. I uh, woke up uh, actually, yeah, late today. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I'm so on vacation. Nice. Oh, you're on vacation. Oh, vacation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You oh. mentioned it yesterday, I think, that you had a four-day weekend. Yes. Yeah, good, good. So what time did you wake up today? 8.30. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and what time do you usually wake up when you go to work? If I have to go to work, 6.30. If I stay home, 7.30. Okay. Good, good. So you go back to work on Monday? On Monday, but, but Monday I stay home. I usually go to, to the office Tuesday and Friday. Okay, good. Okay, good for you. Just like an example, you have to play with the meaning and, and how you want the sentence to be used. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you want okay. to say, uh, tell about she, you can see, uh -huh. you can say, she's uh -huh. fast slipped. Yes, for me it's okay, yes. It, or when you talk about uh, you, you, directly you, uh, mm -hmm. is you are fast asleep. Mm -hmm. Yes, fast asleep. Okay. <laughs> yes. The teacher is back. You, you are sound asleep. You are you are sound asleep. You are wide awake. Uh, in the case of drift off, you drift off. Uh -huh. You drift. Mm -hmm. In the uh, another. Uh, All right, uh, any questions or comments about that vocabulary related with uh, sleeping? Mm. No? We, on our group, we discussed and we explained to each other the meanings of a few Good, words. good, very good. That's the idea of working in pairs or working in groups, you know, like clarifying and helping each other understand better uh, the vocabulary we're checking. Good. Very good. Um, okay. Teacher, yes, sir. Thank you. Um, I just missed uh, an expression at the last yep. one. Toss uh -huh. and turn. Yep. Yes, I, I was going to, to ask about that one. Yeah. Toss and turn. Can somebody explain that one? Toss and turn? Toss and turn is like when you're sleeping, you move a lot from one side to another. That's what I understand. Yes. Yeah. When you when you cannot sleep and you are uh, turning in exactly. your bed. Exactly. Or when you're crazy to sleep. And not exactly. When you toss and turn, that means that you're not getting sleep. You're trying, oh. mm -hmm. but it, maybe it's too hot. <laughs> maybe you have something pending. Maybe you moving. have anxiety, um, but you keep moving so you don't sleep well. Yes, it's horrible. Oh, Understood, thank you. Yeah. You are trying, mm -hmm. but you can't. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly, exactly. 
Thanks. Yeah, and there is a and it's a very uncomfortable feeling. Where you feel yes. so frustrated, like my goodness, it's already two a.m. and I don't get any sleep because <laughs> you know that you have to wake up early the following day. You exactly. know. Do yes. you know how to avoid that? No, you know what I do sometimes. Uh, I read or I use the cell phone. If it doesn't work, I get up and I watch television. But nah, I don't know if someone has any better tips than that. Yeah, something something that never fail is that you can have a couple of drinks. Beer, uh, milk? No, no, it's scotch. Whiskey. <laughs> yes, it's scotch. Whiskey. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> whiskey. Scotch. It's not good. <laughs> Of course, it's good. Yeah, yes. I, I, <laughs> for, I for the sleep. Yeah, I try yeah. that with the from. You will sleep like a log, like an angel. <laughs> and, and, and how much do you have to drink, Carlos? How much do you need? <laughs> two, one or two. One or uh, two what? One or two bottle. glasses. One or two liters? No, 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 no. Glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Cups, exactly. Just, just... I need a good yeah, habit. yeah, little cups like this one. Okay, <laughs> just two shots, maybe. Just a and shot. I, I will never awake. <laughs> one or two shots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, alcohol uh, works. It works. The only yes. thing is that you know, like, okay, I'm, I'm tossing and turning, tossing and turning. Okay, I'm gonna go get a drink. So you, you drink it, and, and maybe the effect, the effect is not going to be too long but it will put you asleep right yeah. <laughs> yes I, I read an article related to the to the phases of sleep and and actually you need every 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 single step you know when you're moving when you are uh, trying to get asleep and you can't because it's like the your body is disconnecting it's like the it's like a shutting down okay you know uh, it, yeah. is, it is necessary to, yeah, to, it's it's to pr it's part of the process. Exactly. When you have alcohol, for example, I, I was kidding, of course. But when you have alcohol, you you jump every. Yeah, yeah. When well, no, you're kidding, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah to no, get it... energy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It, it, it is a process. It is a it's process. Right? Yes. And, and that's why when you go to sleep, you know, you gotta make sure that. Uh, I don't know, but in my case, I need a fan to, to go to sleep. You know, I love mm -hmm. my bed. I love my bed. Like, oh, yeah, this is what I needed. But um, but you got to make sure that all the environment is is good for you. That's what your body wants. Yeah, yes. So. Okay. Right. Okay, right. Carlos, mm -hmm. thanks for the tip. The, the I, advice. I, I, I will try today. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Right. It, yes. It's better than milk. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, totally. Actually, the actually, hot milk. Actually, I believe that the milk it is not uh, healthy. You know. Yes. I don't drink milk. Isn't it? At all. Mm. Okay. I hear also that milk is good. You know, but I think it might be good for babies. Maybe I'm not or, sure. Or for the cows. Okay. I mean. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is not for the human. Yeah. Mm. Well, but everybody has different tips. You know, some people use their cell phones, others read, or watch television. Other people have a couple of drinks. Some other people they need to exercise before they yeah. go to sleep, so they can feel relaxed and everything. So. Everybody has shower. different you techniques for taking a shower, right? Yeah, I, yeah I in, think... in summertime, a shower is a very good way to, yes, to feel comfortable. Right. After. Yeah. Yeah, you alleviate the heat a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good okay. Good. All right. Um, <laughs> I, I was telling Bersabe and Eduardo that next Thursday I have a Christmas event. So, um, we need to make up for that particular Thursday tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So oh. in theory, we were supposed to finish this coming Thursday, but since I cannot be here, they decided to move Thursday's class for tomorrow. So just keep oh. in mind that tomorrow we will have classes. And okay. uh, if you can make it, you know, we will highly appreciate it. And, uh, and, and you guys, 
will finish before then all the other courses because all the courses they finish on Thursday, you guys mm -hmm. will be finishing on Wednesday. And also mm -hmm. remember that uh, the platform is due uh, Thursday, this, is it the 17th, I think? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, but that's the limit. Yeah. Because on the 18th, Ingles Corporativo, once again, is sending all the reports. So you need to start working on the platform so you don't have any inconvenience at the end. So, you know, we want everybody to be part of the uh, TOEFL preparation part. I mean, not, not the, the advanced uh, two level. Advanced so, two. Uh, so keep that in mind, you know, this coming weekend, if you can put some work in the platform, do it. And, uh, you know, that's the, so that was the information that I wanted to share with you. Copy that. Okay, um, teacher. Thank teacher, you so uh, much. But we will have the, the next course, the number two, until January? Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, okay. if I understand that you guys will have like a three-week um, oh. vacation. Yes, like three weeks off, right? Okay. So we finish on the 16th. And I understand that we come back the first week of January. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher. Yep. I will not be able to be in the class tomorrow. Okay. All right. I thought we were having classes, so I put something for tomorrow. Sure, sure. No, no problem. We understand. And remember that uh, there is always, you know, like these videos are being recorded. Uh, when English Corporativo sent you an email with different links, there is a link that takes you to YouTube. So you click that link and you can watch uh, the class the, that you the, have the missed. Class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Yes, teachers. Okay. So let's do some listening. Do you guys have pen and paper? Yes, yes we have. Okay, or maybe a Word document ready? May not. Okay. So the first question says, What's the woman's suggestion? What's the woman's suggestion? Question number two, what is he concerned about? What is he concerned about? And question three, what does the professor suggest? What does the professor suggest? Okay. All right. So what was the first question that I dictated? What's the woman? What's the woman's suggestion? <laughs> okay, what's the woman's What's the woman's suggestion? What is the second question? What is the concern about? Okay. What is he concerned about? What about. is he concerned about? About. Okay. And question number three? What does what the, professor the professor suggest? Professor suggest. Okay, what does, does the professor suggest? Suggest. What does the professor suggest? Okay. Are the questions yes. clear? Yes. This is uh, mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Um, yes, okay. When 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 you guys go to university and let's say that you have an inconvenient attending a particular class. So you go to administration and you say, quiero retirar materia. How do you say that in English? Okay. Retirar? One, two. One enroll maybe? They want to cancel. Okay, uh, the real, the real uh, word is drop. Oh. Drop, como mm -hmm. dejar caer, yes. drop. So you, you're mm -hmm. letting go, so drop. So you say, look, I want to drop my mathematics subject. class subject on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. So you drop, you drop the subject, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the conversation is in a classroom, so pay attention. I'm going to put yes. you in silence, so um, we don't have any interruptions. 
share screen, share, and right here. It, this should be the one, I think. Huh. Exercise L23, identifying the speaker's meaning. One. Sue, you know you missed the deadline, don't you? Yes, I know. But could I get my report in by early next week? Well, I'm not so concerned about deadlines as such. We all have setbacks from time to time. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm more concerned about your getting behind in general. I've seen students get so far Me said, can, can, can you put volume, please? I can hear. In this course, yeah, really we can barely hear the time. audio teacher. What is it? We can okay. barely hear the audio. I, we, oh, okay. Can hear. Okay, give me a second. Thank you, sir. Sure, okay. Hmm. That's strange. Give me a second. Okay, let me know how it sounds now. Exercise L23. Can you hear it? No, no, more. No, we, we need, need more better, volume. but yeah. not. Uh, but enough. that's yeah, but that's that's very strange because that's the maximum volume that I have in the in, in the volume. It's weird because I can hear you. Your devices. What is it? Give volume to your devices. Right, it, it, but they are on maximum. Maybe your devices is in low volume because I hear, I can hear well. Okay, so. I hear very well also. Okay, because, um, okay, can, who can hear the audio very well? Me. I can hear. Okay. Uh, I can hear. So, so maybe, maybe it's your device, uh, um, Eduardo. Maybe it's your device. Maybe no, I, 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 I can hear. That's what I'm saying. Ah, okay, okay. Because uh, yeah, we hear, but it's, if you can do it a little bit louder, because that's that's the maximum that I have. You know, it's a, it's a hundred. Yeah, that would be. Weird. Can you there put a gain? I can hear you well, but I cannot hear the audio well. Okay, yeah, that's that's yeah. strange. Uh, that's well, strange. let's do it that way. I mean, uh, to, uh, to you, I, I hear you very well, but why don't hear the audio? Right, right. Yes, yeah, the, there must be something going on. Okay, so I'm gonna play it anyways. Uh, sure. for the ones that can hear it, and hopefully, everybody will have access to it. Listen carefully. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Identifying the speaker's meaning. One. Sue, so you know you missed the deadline, don't you? Yes, I know. But could I get my report in by early next week? Well, I'm not so concerned about deadlines as such. We all have setbacks from time to time. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm more concerned about your getting behind in general. I've seen students get so far behind that they can't catch up. If you can't keep up in this course, you're really wasting my time and your time and money. If that's the case, Sue, you should drop now while you can before it's too late to drop without penalties. Okay. Uh, were you able to hear well? No, I don't hear. Oh, yeah, well, for, well, for some well, reason, it was worse this time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so I give up. What I will do, I will send you this audio to the <laughs> WhatsApp chat okay. so you guys can listen. Uh, hopefully, you guys will download it and you will have good access to it. All right, so sorry. Okay, no worries. It's okay, <laughs> so let's talk about something that I know you guys like doing. What do you think that is? Can you see the questions? Probably. Yes, we're not going to answer the questions. 
No, because not everybody has a, 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 not everybody can hear the audio. So what I will do, I will send you the, the audio to the WhatsApp and you guys download it and play it. Got it? Okay. okay yes, right. teacher. All right. Uh, good night, everybody. Okay. So let me see this here. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, nine to 10, nine to 10, nine to 10. Okay, so there you have the questions. Let me assign you with, um, I don't know, I don't know, recreate. Can you put in the WhatsApp, teacher? Uh, yes, I sent it already. Okay, okay. Yep, so let me, room four and room four. All right, so let's do this. Okay, everybody has a partner. Ask and answer the questions. watch a band but it's not usually but i like because i don't see them uh, too much but if i were traveling in other places i think i know someone who enjoys uh, too much traveling and well number two okay what uh, is travel for you well, travel is, um, in my case, is a way to, to feel free. Is when you have time to visit a family or, well, yes, but in, in my case, it will be when I visit my family. Uh, what about you? What is travel for you? Um, travel way, way, way well. Uh, there are uh, two two kind of travel uh, for pleasure, for distraction, and travel for um, a jobs. Uh, um, yes, it's true. And I, I. I enjoy uh, travel in both ways because I think part of the travel is when you are. Uh, I think that those are the the main for tourists for work and for a study. Yes. Okay, the first says, what's the best place you've ever been to?
stop the business. We closed it basically. Uh, and then I started working and actually we had more free time. So for example, when I got vacations and he got vacations, and she got vacations, so we were able to make a trip. Yeah, having a business is very demanding. I mean, you yeah, have to be yeah. aware or depending of the of it yeah. all the time. You need to be. To this place called La Ceiba. Mm -hmm. and I have La heard about that. Yep, in La, it's like a town. In, in, in La Ceiba, you took, we took a, a boat. It's around mm -hmm. 30 or 45 minutes okay. over the sea until you reach the, the island. Reach so the island, okay. okay. It was really, really. What about, good what about the car, the, the car trip? How, how does it last? I think that are maybe 14 or 15 hours. Mm, actually, no, 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 no. It's, I mean, this, I, I'm not pretty sure if the street is in a good uh, condition because mm -hmm. uh, it was really, really bad. Oh, okay, so, okay. When, when you arrive, you, you need to go out using uh, El Poi. Oh, okay, yeah. Near yeah. to Chalatenango, okay. So yeah. after that, you... You arrive to, um, how do you say, Santa Rosa de Copado? Okay. And, uh, after that, you just go in direction to the north. So okay. it was maybe around okay. eight hours, I think. It, it's oh, not okay. It's not, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that it was uh, longer than that. Yeah, no, it's really good. Okay, it's, it's And cool. it's, it's, it's a very good trip. Yeah, absolutely. If you're going with friends, <laughs> I think that it will be very exactly very, very cool. <laughs> okay, let Crazy me ask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> so let me ask yeah. the next no. travel to another country. I will take the opportunity because I think uh, it's not something usually for us to travel uh, usually. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. Number six. Number six. What are the good and bad things about traveling? Well, I think a bad thing is um, not known or unknown uh, the place where you are in, in, uh, uh, unknown the language and costumes yes, I think is, is uh, difficult I, uh, for, I, 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 uh, I'm afraid for example a uh, to get to get lost in a, in another country, you 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 don't know where uh, you are. I think it, I think is uh, uh, it's difficult. It's bad. Yes, I there are many reasons, and I think uh, something that you said that you don't know uh, the country, you don't know the customs of the las costumbres of them and because I have no uh, person who used to live in United States and well the problem was that he, did, he didn't speak the language he couldn't speak English and he didn't feel uh, well there and also they he he didn't was used to to be there because the people there has a different behavior. So for that reason, 
uh, he decided to come to come back here to El Salvador and actually he's still living here and so that does some reasons where uh, to travel to another country can be something bad and also you the flight because for me it's really really hard to take the flight i had to take a pill and all the stuff because my stomach really really has a bad time but after that really yeah yeah even if i am on the car for example if i have if i am in the car and i in the back part of the car i have to drink a pill mm, it's difficult for you to travel yeah no, I, I don't can. have any, any you don't have any problem, huh? That's good. But that's only the only bad things for me then. And sometimes the see the museum, the Louvre, and the uh, there is another muse museum. Ah, mm -hmm. museum the the El Prado in Spain. Mm -hmm. I I wanted to go to stay more time there, and I couldn't. I uh, Museo El Prado. I I couldn't. I could. Uh, I could go only two times, but mm -hmm. it's, wow, it's impressive because it's um, big, it, uh, it has a lot of, a lot of uh, pictures, and mm -hmm. you want to, to, paint. to watch paint, sorry, paint, and you want to, to, to see everything, but you don't have time, uh, because it's yeah. short, my time when I, mm -hmm. I go this country yeah uh, okay and then where do you want to travel when you, where you want to travel to before you die we already said it right <laughs> you say you yeah. want to go again canada and yeah. um, yes, i, I, I I'm, want to repeat <laughs> <laughs> okay i want to go to france uh, now is it better to travel or to arrive um, or to what? Or, or, to, or to arrive? Is it better? Or to arrive? Mm, I don't understand the, the question. Is, is it better to travel or to arrive? Arrive where? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's a tricky question. Like yeah. they're, they're, they're making reference like, okay, uh, you arrive in El Salvador because you live here, right? Mm. But if you're not from El Salvador, you will travel, you will arrive. I mean, uh, so that is the difference, whether you are uh, going to be there for a couple of days, maybe, or if you're there to stay. Okay. To stay is to is travel. To travel. The, let, let me see the, the question. Uh, is it better to travel or to arrive? Arrive if a yeah, few yeah. days. Or yeah, right, right. So, uh, Travel or arrive. Travel is when you're on vacation. Arrive is when you're returning to your home. Oh, um, better, better to travel. travel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The next okay, question. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know that some of you guys were still talking about the topic. Um, yes. So um, we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Okay, good day. Get some rest. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.